Live fire practice is inconvenient and expensive, particularly with a rifle. And if we're talking about practicing for home defense, you can't really do live fire practice in your home. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Dry fire practice is important too, but it has limitations, particularly with a rifle. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Mantis Blackbeard and Mantis X10 Elite, some cool training devices that allowed me to get some meaningful, realistic practice with my rifle at home. Now, this video is sponsored by Mantis, who make the X10 Elite as well as the Blackbeard training system. I'll put a link down in the description below. The Mantis Blackbeard replaces your magazine and your bolt carrier group in about the amount of time it takes to change out a magazine and a bolt carrier group. So like five seconds. That's what resets the trigger. Nothing moves, nothing reciprocates. So no, the uh, recoil is not the same, just in case you were asking. I get crazy questions when I do these things. No, the recoil's not the same as 5.56. Five, I'm also gonna be explaining why this is better than Airsoft, because that'll be another one. Like, why don't you just use an Airsoft gun? I'll explain why, I mean, Airsoft's cool, but I'll explain why this is better. This little guy here is the Mantis X10 Elite. It is a shooting performance system that measures my uh, muzzle control and my trigger pull and tells me like how terrible I am at shooting. This thing right here measures everything. It measures if I'm jerking the trigger, if I'm pushing with my support hand, and it works on dry fire, live fire, airsoft guns, pistols. You can put that thing on anything. I'll show you how the app works here in a second. But this is actually, this is my favorite part because dry fire with a rifle kind of sucks. Dry fire practice with a rifle really sucks, particularly if you want to practice like real skills, like, like ready ups, like bringing the rifle up to bear. That's how fast the whole thing comes apart. If you actually want to practice like real stuff with your rifle, like actually getting it into a fight, um, it's not realistic. I'll show you what the limitations of dry fire with a rifle are. I uh, can shoot and then I have a choice to make. I can, if I want to practice maybe like resetting the trigger and then going again, I have to, I have to do all this, which wouldn't be a real thing I do. If I'm doing ready ups, which I think if you were practicing only one thing with a rifle, this would be a good one to practice. Uh, so I've got my rifle down like this, low, uh, I bring it up, crack my shot off, and then what? I should be either doing other parts of the drill or what I'm supposed to be doing or lowering it, putting the safety back on. I can't put the safety back on, so I have to do this. Now, I'm not one of these guys that thinks like everything you do in practice that's dumb and not real, you're gonna do when it's real. That's not exactly how it works. There's, there's something to be said for building habits and muscle memory, but it's not quite as egregious or dramatic as some trainers make it out to be. Like, don't hand the training gun back to your partner. Like, uh, that sort of thing. Now what? I've gotta do this, and then I'm not practicing this very important motor skill of coming up, firing as many times as I would like to or need to, and then doing that. I, that's the limitation of dry fire with a rifle. The other limitation of dry fire with a rifle is that I don't really have any um, feedback. Like I don't know, am I even doing a good job? And that's where the Mantis X10 Elite comes in. I put that guy on there and it tells me whether or not I'm doing a good job. It measures everything, it's really, it's actually kind of depressing because you think you're doing good. Like I see my little green laser landing on my target. And uh, and the other thing I like about this, there's no there's no moving parts on this guy. There's nothing that can go wrong. There's no, no way to introduce ammo into this system. There's just nowhere for it to even be. And some people are like, but it's not realistic recoil. Well, you practice recoil management at the live fire range. You practice different things on different days in different ways. You can't practice everything all the time. Otherwise you would need like a steady supply of uh, ninjas and terrorists to be consistently fighting for real against. Like you practice different stuff on different days. I like this part. I like this part a lot. <laughs> That's a cool, it lets you know. It lets you know it's ready to do some laser. Pew, 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 <laughs> lets you know it's ready to do laser tag. Now that I have the Mantis Blackbeard system in place, which, why wasn't it the red beard? It's red for safety, I guess. Anyway, now that I have the black beard in place, I can come up, decide to shoot or not shoot, come down, put the safety on, come up, decide to shoot once, put the safety on, I can come up, 
Decide to shoot twice. Put the safety on, come up, shoot, shoot, put the safety on. I can practice that, I think, is, and I'm not a Navy SEAL, I was never Special Forces, I was a SWAT cop, but it didn't, that doesn't mean much. That can mean a lot of things. In my opinion, that's a very important thing. Comment below what you think, if you could only, if you had limited training time with your rifle, like what would you be training? To me, this is the most, I just shot, I just shot Master Wong. I just shot my copy of Master Wong's book over there. I think that's the most important use of your time besides general mark marksmanship. You wanna see, oh, this is what I was just doing there. I've been going, this is the, the drill that I've been obsessed with here is going like. You know, that's like a, <laughs> like a, like a, a very extra failure to stop drill. We go two to the body one of the head and then liberally apply to the pelvic girdle to stop their forward movement. Now, as you'll be able to tell from the comments below telling me I don't know what I'm doing, I'm by no means an expert at this, but that's precisely the point. I do practice dry fire a good bit. I can't get to the range as much as I would like. I would love to get there all the time, but I just can't. One thing that comes up whenever we do this is people bring up airsoft for like force on force or for dry fire practice. And you can even put the Mantis X-10 on an airsoft gun and it'll give you information about your trigger pull. Airsoft is great, airsoft is cool. Why is this superior to airsoft or, or what advantages does it have over airsoft? Well, it's your gun with your trigger, your sights or your red dot, your sling, your light, your everything that's on your gun. And you'd be like, you can get one for one replicas of airsoft. Not with the exact same trigger, unless you're spending more. Not with the exact same red dot, unless you're spending more. Not with the exact same sling, unless you want to spend more. Or swap your stuff over every time you practice, including re-zeroing your sight. So that's what this has over just using an airsoft. I have an airsoft M4. I have one, and it's, it's similar. I can practice lots of things with it, but practicing real dry fire using my sighting system, whatever that is, which that's one of the reasons I'm enjoying this. I have a limited amount of practice with a red dot. I was a iron sights type of guy, but now I have this and I can practice finding that dot, using it without spending 35, 45, even 50 cents a shot or whatever it is now. Is it more? What's, how much is it around now? That fun green laser on there also uh, helps me confirm or maybe adjust a base level of zero with my red dot. You still need to do it with live ammo, obviously, but I can play and have fun and theoretically train. But this lets me also practice my, my holds, like my holdovers and hold unders, like where I put the dot relative to how far away they are. It gives me lots of chances to practice that in my house. Like not just in a shoot house, which is great and super hard to come by. I'm getting to practice this stuff in my house. That's awesome. But the fun doesn't just stop in my house. I could practice in my yard. I could, nope, that's probably, I probably shouldn't do that today, right now. I could practice in my yard. I could practice in my car. I could practice at my place of business. I can practice around uh, my knucklehead kids and not worry about being able to introduce ammo or anything like that. I could practice literally anywhere. I could practice Right here in the kitchen. I could get real specific with my practice. Like real specific with my practice. You're only limited by your creativity. You could practice very, very specific scenarios. You could get <laughs> really, really specific. But as I said before, there's a distinct possibility that you're doing a lot of dry fire practice and you're not actually getting good reps out of it. You don't actually know if your technique is any good. That's what this Mantis X10 thing here does. Uh, we turn it on so that it's blinking and then you go to your app. It looks like that and you just hit connect. And this is the first time a company's ever sent me something with an app that it worked. <laughs> Notice you've never seen me use an app in any videos ever. It's because they never work for me. This one worked first try. 
So I've got it. So it says Mantis X is now analyzing your movement data in real time and looking for dry practice shots. That's all I'm doing, just dry fire. You can set it to do live fire as well, but it will measure each shot. And let's check out the score. So that's five shots. 88.1 is my average score, and it gives me some explanations about how I did, and I can also swipe to see different views. Blue is hold movement, gold is trigger press movement. So you can see on the shots, I'm moving it around a lot uh, when I'm not firing, which is fine. I'm, I care, that, that first shot, I didn't feel great about that shot. I was kind of all over the place with that gold movement that was during the trigger pull, like before and after. But then I got my shit together and felt a little bit better about the rest of it. And you don't even need to set it up to interact with your target or anything like that. It's just measuring my, my, my firing technique, my form, how much the barrel is moving around and stuff like that. I just aim at that mannequin. It'll even tell you mistakes that you're making. Like, for instance, if you're pushing with the firing hand, it'll bring up this little guide on what that looks like or what causes that and the description of the issues and how to fix them. So... That's important feedback that you just can't get by yourself. This It's the equivalent of filming yourself hitting a heavy bag and then seeing what you're doing wrong. But you can't always like see what you're doing wrong with the trigger. I'm sure like high level, high level coaches can see that stuff. But this gives regular guys like real time feedback on what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. So this guy here is obviously really great. And you can mount it like any number of places. You can mount it to your pistol, you can mount it to an airsoft gun, you can do your dry fire practice, live fire practice with it, you can practice with it a multitude of ways, but I love just being able to do this. I love being able to do that with my rifle. I've never been able to do that before without having to do some goony dry fire gymnastics. I don't wanna do that anymore. I just wanna, I just wanna play guns in my house. Now, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can get the Mantis Blackbeard or the Mantis X10 Elite. Click that link in the description below. It really helps support the channel as well. Now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs>